Uh, my name's Scott Benefield. I'm a glass blower uh, based in Randallstown. For the last five years, I've had my studio here. Before that, I had a practice in America for the last 25 years, I'd say. I've been doing this for a living for about 30 years now. Uh, so glass blowing means uh, I'm blowing glass in a, using hand processes from a furnace. So everything that I make is on the end of a four-foot blowpipe. Uh, I'm gathering molten glass and then shaping it, sort of keeping it elevated above 600 degrees for the most part throughout the whole shaping process. And then when the object's done, it's, uh, it's finished. It has to cool down slowly in an annealer overnight. So everything that I make uses those traditional offhand glass blowing processes without the use of any molds or automation. Uh, so this award is going to allow me to, to do a couple of different things uh, within that sort of basic proposal of furthering this body of work. So it, it helps fund uh, an additional period of travel and study in America uh, a residency on the east coast of America in New Jersey where I'll be working for six weeks uh, again to sort of develop a lot of the technical aspects of it and then actually coming back into this studio here in Randallstown and making the finished work over a period of two months. So that's basically it sets out the next six or eight months of my professional practice by, by getting this award, so the funding to underwrite some of the overhead costs of, of making the glass and working in the studio, and also there's an exhibition component because this should result in a body of work that can be exhibited here in Northern Ireland. Uh, so some of the associated costs with that, like crating and shipping and uh, getting it ready for display. The, the way that I work with glass uh, in a small sort of artisanal studio is something that's not very widely practiced here in Northern Ireland. Uh, and that's, that kind of goes back to that the art schools here don't have that as part of their curriculum. They're very strong in jewelry and silversmithing and ceramics. Um, but the idea of working with glass sort of getting your hands on glass and being more than a designer but being a maker as well is an idea that um, uh, that didn't really get started here where it started in a lot of other places like in England or the States or Australia back in the 70s and developed through the 80s and 90s. So the big difference between for me between working here and working in the States is you are a little bit removed from that media specific community and so you don't have the same a sort of peer network, you don't have the same supply chains um, or resources, just that whole environment that supports what you're trying to, to do as far as glass goes. On the other hand, there's a lot more, I think, support for the arts in general here in Northern Ireland um, than I found in the US, which has a more laissez-faire attitude towards support for the arts. It's not really seen as the function of government to support that, whereas uh, it seems like here in the UK that's always sort of been acknowledged that arts and culture would be supported uh, in part by, by government funding. In the states that's seen more as sort of private enterprise or maybe corporate, uh, that corporations support, uh, you know, art, art and education. So, um, so that's, a, that's a big difference between working here and working in the States. And this is a good example of um, ways in which craftspeople and artists are supported um, by organizations like the Arts Council and Craft and I.